Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So yesterday we did a live unboxed uh, Akaya scale lunar yesterday. So we unboxed the 2021 the Akaya Luna scale. So there was a little messy. Okay, there was a little messy unboxing because I did not read the manual. So this morning I'm going to get so so I uh, I skimmed through the entire manual. Or earlier uh, this morning so I'm going to give you guys a quick guide if you don't want to read the manual you might want to stay for this they have three different manuals okay they got quick guide comes with a box and also uh, if you go to online they have a 12 page uh, guide and there's another one is 24 pages long okay so man that's okay the reason why a car scale is so expensive once you uh, once you're going through the the manuals you understand why because so much technology is behind this scale okay i mean it's, it's unreal so i'm going to give you guys a little glimpse of what this scale can do uh, this morning and i'm going to compare with some other scale as well okay i uh, i have some scale from timer this is the nano scale that looks uh, like uh, a Kaya scale, but not quite. Okay, but huge price difference though. So timer scale is obviously it's about ninety, uh, about hundred bucks. Okay, about ninety five or ninety nine dollars for this. And and this is another one from timer. It's about forty five bucks scale. So this is the Akaya scale twenty twenty one. Uh, this one has a flow rate uh, indicator as well so i'm going to show you give you a kind of like quick demo on that as well so what that flow rate can do for you so let's get going let's get going here all right i'm just gonna flip the camera for a quick second so between 20 uh between 21 okay so this uh, i have the two, uh, 2021 akaya scale uh, versus the previous model okay so the, uh, this is the uh, previous model so uh, 2021 you see that so hopefully hope you guys can see it all right hopefully you guys can see this so you see that this line so that is like a uh, flow rate uh, indicator so obviously you can uh, start from the top okay single top get to the mode so a kaya scale they are nice enough to give you a hundred gram the calibrated uh, calibration weight so right now I'm at 100.1 gram okay hold on a second here I'm just gonna tear it up here okay so we go 100 gram so whenever you got this scale you might want to calibrate anyway so how to calibrate a Kaya scale I'm just gonna you are going to turn it on so you're going to be in the just the weight mode only okay I'm just gonna hold down to different mode going through the different mode here so this is just the weight okay so nothing on it no flow indicator no auto tail just this mode and then you are going to press the tear button, okay? It's a calibrate. Put the weight on the top. And it's going to tell you when it's done. And, okay, so now calibration is done. Very simple. Uh, same goes for the previ uh, previous model as well. Okay. Different mode. If you're going to press hold one more time. So this is just a uh, wait and time. Okay. So it's our manual mode right here. You can wait those. Wait. And also you can start.
So you can start the time, stop it, double tap, to zero, I'm sorry, hold on. Start, stop, back to zero. So next mode we have is, so we have a water drop on the top. So let's say you're going to, so this one, whenever you indicate the drop on the water, so let's say you are putting the shot. So imagine this uh, bean is the water drops. Start the time right there, okay. Once you stop, it's going to stop, okay. So that's the water, so that's based on the water drops, kind of like flow. So next mode is the pretty much auto tear as well, okay. I'm going to set something up, automatically tears it, and start the time automatically, okay. So this one is all depend on what you guys like to do. So I mean, uh, this is one of my favorite modes. I'm just gonna, so whenever I start the shot, wait the shot, pretty much start the timing right there. Okay. So next mode. So this mode, oh, hold on a second, I think I passed that, hold on. So this mode is an interesting one, okay. Auto tear, and then whatever scale senses it, start the time. Let's start the time. And then as you saw, we got some flow rate. So let's talk about the flow rate. So that is a huge upgrade from previous model to 2021 is the flow rate. So flow rate is, you know what? I think I'm gonna just better to give you an example, okay? I'm just gonna go back to the, my coffee machine. Goodness. All right. So if you are pulling a shot, auto tear as you can see automatically. I'm gonna pull the shot. I'm just the water there. So whenever detect. The time is going up. And you see the flow rate indicator up and down. It's gonna tell you how much uh, grams per second. Okay, let's stop at 50 second here, 50 gram at 20 second. And it's gonna tell you it's about 2.6 gram per second, okay. 2.6 gram per second. So it's tell you uh, what kind of flow rate whenever you are making your espresso shots. So what is I mean? Okay, so I mean, is that useful for whenever you are making your coffee? It all depends, okay, answer is depends. Because, again, I mean, this scale packed with so much technology behind it. And I mean, you want, there's no limit to it. Let's put it that way. I mean, if you, you want to really deep dive into your coffee as your hobby, because I want to know, okay? Personally, I want to know the flow rate, all right? And, but if you don't care about that, okay, you know what? I just want such a simple skill that tell me the start and stop time. I just want to know how much I'm going to get yield out of it. Okay, that's it. If that's only you care about, $10 scale from Amazon is just fine. Okay. So one of my favorite scares is called G Dealer. Great name, by the way. Great name. But if you're a person that 
You want to have the build quality, give you all the bells and whistles. I mean like Akaya scale, okay? And the looks good, water resistant. Unfortunately, you have to spend the money, okay? Unfortunately, you have to pay the money to the play with uh, Kaya scale. It's not cheap, okay? Luckily, uh, I got this one from the uh, Facebook. The Facebook has special through Instagram a couple weeks ago, so I got like 25% off on Akaya scale. So I was able to pick this one up for like under 200 bucks, but the regularly you are looking about 250 plus tax on it, about 270 bucks. Very expensive scale, but uh, if you're a coffee hobbyist, it's not a bad idea to look into it, okay? By the way, the Akaya scale never goes on sale, that, not that often, okay? Goodness, I've been looking at on, on Akaya scale for years and finally I pulled the trigger on this one. So again, uh, don't wait for on sale. Sometimes usually like package deal with some coffee machine with the scale, but I know some other retailers do, uh, does that, but not as a company. Okay, not as company. Anyway, I hope this video helps. And if you guys want to learn more about this scale, hold on. So if you go to, if you have it, again, they have a, a 12 pages manual and also 24 pages. Okay. And uh, it's insane. Hold on. Hopefully I can show you. We got the different settings there. We got the goodness. So this is all you can change on your Akaya scale. Okay. Especially 2021, the lunar. This is all different settings, folks. Bluetooth to flow rate, auto tail, brightness. The timer, I mean, is everything. So, I mean, if some of your things, hey, you know, Akaya scale is overpriced. I mean, this is why, okay. This is why uh, those scales are so expensive. Uh, DK mentioned, is that end game scale? Yes. I mean, this is kind of like, uh, comes to scale, doesn't get any better than this. Okay, it doesn't get any better than, comes to build quality, the uh, kind of like user interface i know someone might say differ okay i know someone thinks that it's called flisica i think the flisca scale but they're very close to akaya but it's not the same because the size wise as well it's not the uh, same size akaya scale just enough size to fit on most uh, coffee machines and even uh, a flare 58 too so Let's see here. I'm going to shout out to Jason for super sticker. Let's see here. We got a uh, shout out to Rappo as well from Poland. It's been a while, buddy. Let's see. Get DK. Yep. DK mentioned about the end game scale. And uh, let's see here. We got Jonathan from Tel Aviv. All right. Jonathan. Yep. Okay, so Jonathan has a scale called uh, Greater Goods. I don't know. I got to check it out as well. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Again, uh, if you have a Kaya scale 2021, do you use the flow rate function? Yeah, let me know. Okay. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great rest of the day. And I'll be back uh, later sometime this afternoon. Goodness, I have 10 days to go. For 2023, the Brewers Cup, the, the prelim, is happening next Friday, folks. Next Friday, coming up. All right, guys. See you next time.